So in this particular video, we are going for the type 6 Leibniz theorem problems, which is based on the function product of two functions and u and b, where u is taken as the polynomial always, and which gives till where we have to do the step. Like in the sense, for example, uh, we'll first consider the formula. So this is the formula for what Leibniz theorem. So in this, if you observe, u is taken as the polynomial. Why? Because for example, in this we are taking u as x square. As I said, we have to take it as a polynomial. So this is the Leibniz formula. So u is the u1, u2, u3 till where we don't know. So for finding formula till where we have to find, where we have to do. So if I consider the u as x square here, what about u1? u1 becomes u1 becomes the differentiation of x square which is 2x u2 becomes differentiation of 2x which is 2 u3 becomes differentiation of 2 which is 0 so that means what you understood that till u2 we have to do the well, to, till u2 we have to do and then we cannot continue with u3 so in the formula if you observe u is sitting u1 u2 but u3 we cannot consider that means our answer will be till here itself Remember u we have to take it as a polynomial try to do till where you are getting till what value some particular place you will be getting what 0 as the answer the previous till there we have to stop the answer of that particular thing using this Leibniz theorem. Now let us find out other things also see we so let me just write u we are considering as the polynomial always which is x square v will be the other variable of x log 4x now we have to observe whether v is having the nth derivative or not because in the formula if you observe i need to find vn vn minus 1 vn minus 2 so i need vn so nth derivative of vn is there or not direct formula yes it is there so what is the formula for the direct formula for log ax plus b so if y is equal to log ax plus b we have studied this formula so what will be the nth derivative of that? It will be minus 1 power n minus 1 into n minus 1 factorial into a power n whole divided by ax plus b power n. So this is the formula. This particular formula has to be applied here. So let me just write vn. So vn will be how much? v values log 4x. What about b? See ax plus b is there. b we can consider it as plus 0. 4x plus 0 where b is 0 a value always it will be coefficient of x where here it is 4 so we can start the formula by writing minus 1 power n minus 1 right into n minus 1 factorial into a power n here it is 4 power n whole divided by ax plus b power n right so here it will be ax means 4x power n plus 0 no need to write 4x plus 0 and all no need to write you can simply write 4x power n. Now what about vn minus 1? We have to find vn minus 1 also. vn minus 1 is quite easy. What you have to do in place of n, we have to substitute n minus 1. That's it. Very simple concept. What you have to do? Minus 1 power. See n is there. You substitute n minus 1 minus 1 into in place of n, you have to substitute n minus 1 minus 1 factorial. 4n minus 1 whole divided by 4x power n minus 1. Simple. Simplify this one. It will be minus 1 power n minus 2 into n minus 2 factorial into 4 power n minus 1 whole divided by 4x power n minus 1. So this will be v n minus 1. Then now we have to find v n minus 2 also. So in place of n you substitute n minus 2 simple so what it will be minus 1 power n minus 2 now the thing is that where i have to substitute that is the question we have to substitute in vn not vn minus 1 okay where you have to substitute vn so it will be uh, minus 1 power n minus 2 minus 1 into n minus 2 minus 1 factorial into 4 power n minus 2 whole divided by whole divided by 4x power n minus 2 simplify this one what will happen 
b n minus 2 will become minus 1 power n minus 3 into n minus 3 factorial into 4 n minus 2 whole divided by 4 x power n minus 2. Here we got b values also. Now we have to get what? One more thing very important which is the other term here nc1 nc2 right nc3 no need to find this this is gone okay this formula is gone so nc1 and nc2 we have to find always remember nc1 is always the value as 1 nc1 is 1 what is the ncr formula see ncr formula is basically n factorial divided by n minus r factorial okay n minus r factorial into r factorial so if you want to find nc1 value sorry nc2 value then it will be n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial into r factorial which is 2 factorial right 2 factorial is 2 into 1 2 itself n factorial can be rewritten as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial because i can cancel it with the denominator thing so this and this is gone 2 factorial is 2 itself so what is the answer you are getting here the nc2 value as n into n minus 1 by 2 now we have to substitute all the values in the formula by n value so y n which is the nth derivative also can be written as the nth derivative of u and v which is x square into log 4x that is given by first function u which is x square v n we found out which is which was minus 1 power n minus 1 into n minus 1 factorial into 4 power n whole divided by 4x power n this was the answer plus nc1 value we know it is n u1 we calculated which is 2x into v n minus 1 so i will write here minus 1 power n minus 2 into n minus 2 factorial 4 n minus 1 whole divided by 4x power n minus 1 okay next plus nc2 value we calculated n into n minus 1 by 2 into u2 u2 is differentiation of this thing which is 2 then v n minus 2 we have to write the minus 1 power n minus 3 into n minus 3 factorial into 4 n minus 2 whole divided by 4 x power n minus 2 okay so from here 2 and 2 you can cancel uh, rest all things you can uh, write as it is no need to take anything common because it will get complicated again right so what we can do we can just write the final answer yn as x square 